Yeah. So, as I mentioned, the the button, the button layer is the equipment and the control. Equipment. You have your your manufacturing, your machining equipment, your sensor. Yeah. All in all in this in this equipment uh, control layer. This layer is for you uh, to collect your data, and then in the second layer is the shuffle. You sh you shuffle management. No matter uh, you you have this uh, WMS is a warehouse, warehouse management system, or you 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 can introduce HGV or uh, automatic uh, guided vehicle inside your 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 factory to to uh, not only. Uh, loading unloading by robot, but also to transfer your object, okay, um, object from this sta station to uh, another station. All this environment may be re required by your customer. Uh, environment management system, all the overall the equipment is effectiveness. Okay, so so all, all, all this is the very basic basic management function to for you to manage your sh your shopfront your shopfront. Okay, so and then for this stage is for you to integrate your process, integrate process. Yeah. Okay. Uh, especially for high end, high end manufacturing. For example, IC foundry, the process integration is very, very important for your comp your competitiveness. Because for single single process, we can achieve a very very, very good, very high yield. But, but how can you integrate all, all the process? Yeah. So for example, uh, no matter PCB or IC, when you deliver your product, fabric, fabricate your product one layer by one year, and then you will accumulate uh, the stress, the thermal stress. The thermal stress will accumulate, and the positioning will displacement. And the, the displacement will become larger and larger. So, how can you integrate your process? Is very crucial. And here, and the, to the third layer will be the enterprise. The enterprise operation for you to integrate. Maybe you have one or two or three factories for you to integrate your your different factories. So, so you have your enterprise resource planning or advanced. Mm, yeah, you 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 have the dispatching. Yeah, this uh, the patching. Yeah. for example, you have several order. How can you arrange your order? Very very crucial to your efficiency. Yeah. and then this is the uh, product life management. So this is all on the enterprise level to manage the, the, your your enterprise. Uh, of of course, include your factories, and uh, the highest layer is the for company and the company across company for company to co cooperate. For example, the su supply chain, the supply chain management is for you to ma manage your supply. Uh, also, I, I would like to use this cell phone as an example. In Taiwan, we have the cell phone company HTC. Maybe five or ten years ago, HTC is very, very famous worldwide. But uh, HTC is not very good to in managing their, their, their supply chain. Supply chain. The, the, the only idea is, is cost down, cost down, cost down. And the due date, due date, due date. And uh, HTC usually send very junior, yeah, very junior engineer to go to their, their, their customer and uh, propose very high. Uh, high requirement yeah, to to push the the the, the, the supply chain, but uh, the the effect um, not very very good good result. So uh, the the cell phone company in Taiwan, their their component from their supply chain, the price higher and higher, higher and higher. Yeah. So that, that's why the 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 final product will be a very high price, but the quality. Um, the, no more quality. So, how to manage your supply chain? But but for a Apple, Apple very good in managing their supply chain. Uh, for, for example, uh, uh, there is a Taiwanese company for to fabricate a touch panel. Okay, the touch panel required by Apple, and Apple also assign you should buy the 
what kind of equipment? What kind of equipment? Because inside Apple, there, there, are, there is a research team around 20, 20 very experienced engineers. But they, they have no, no, no function, no lab. Uh, uh, maybe no uh, ordinary lab, but uh, no, no production line, no. They, their production line all in their, their supply chain. Supply chain. But uh, Apple study the technology, material, process, equipment very deeply. And then Apple can go to, for example, the touch panel company in Taiwan. Okay? How, how can you design your, your panel, touch panel? How can you choose your equipment and then increase your, your yield? Yeah, so, and then, you know, the, almost the, may, maybe more than 90%, 90% of smartphone profit go to Apple. But the, the market share of Apple, only number three. Only number three. But the profit, maybe more than 90% profit go to Apple. So, how to manage the supply chain will be, will be very important. So, from this architecture, it for you have an idea to introduce the industrial 4.0. Maybe uh, you, you will, maybe for, for this one, oh, SCADA. SCADA is supervised control and data acquisition. Maybe mm, my company have no this module. Oh, I, I want to introduce this module. But, uh, but uh, uh, for this demonstration project, the time is limited. Okay, if you have, if we, uh, some of the module, you do not have this module, and then you want to introduce this module, hmm? maybe your time, you have to consider the, the, time, the time issue. Because not only introduce, okay, maybe you have eight months, eight months to introduce this new module, but uh, remember, you have to deliver the benefits on productivity higher, cost lower. Maybe a month only for you to introduce are uh, run very smoothly. Okay, but uh, how about productivity? How about cost? Yeah, so, so another idea, maybe, okay, so for example, this uh, statistic process, process control. Maybe in your company, you already have this kind of module or function, but uh, the, the favor, no 4.0, 4.0 favor. Maybe only automation favor. Yeah, maybe only uh, process uh, a li little upgrade. So I want to have more higher intense industrial 4.0 uh, in intensity. Yeah, so maybe you can focus on, on the module you already have, but upgrade, upgrade this module to industrial 4.0. And the, the, the limited time will be enough for you. You, you already upgrade your module, and then you deliver the benefits. And they have the technology, tech, industrial 4.0 technology content inside this module. So this is another, another approach. Okay, so if you want to introduce a new a new module, um, but uh, consider the li limited time. Okay, my suggestion would be that the new module, although you you, you do not ha have that right now, but uh, you have the surrounding module. The surrounding module, you have uh, other modules surrounding this, and uh, that will be very easy for you to introduce this new module. That's also okay. But remember, this new module should contribute to your higher productivity and the lower cost. Okay? Or, uh, or uh, your customer have some very valuable feedback to you. Okay? You, you can, you, and you can have a totally different mindset to choose. Okay? So, this is the architecture. Another one is the, uh, a very simple. Uh, the simplified architecture, but in this architecture, I would like to emphasize the middle layer, the middle layer, because equipment, the application, all, all the same, okay. The middle layer, you have uh, this smart machine box, because in Taiwan, in Taiwan, uh, the, the company in Taiwan, more than 90, 97% Taiwanese company are SME. 
Taiwan, many, many SME, more than 97%. For, for they to introduce Industrial 4.0, they want to connect all their equipment, very, very difficult for them. Yeah, so, so Taiwan government and the research institute, we did develop a smart machine box. So it, it, it will be quite easy for you. You just uh, buy this smart machine box back to your company, install on your equipment, and then you can collect the data. Why? Because the key issue, the key issue re relies here. Okay, the key issue relies on the next stage. Okay, in 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 this slide. Uh, you can see that, for example, you have this uh, hub, hub here. This hub may be one of the uh, smart machine box, maybe, okay. Why this box can collect data from this uh, IPC, in the industrial PC, or from PLC, or from CNC controller? Because we already study the, their controller, their communication protocol. So our smart, smart machinery box, we can integrate many, many controller, the commercial controller, the commercial controller, yeah. And once your equipment use commercial controller, you use our smart machine box, we can collect data for you. And then upload the data to con connection layer and then application layer. So, and the, but the, the smart machine box, not, not so simple to collect data, but the, because you already collect your data, you can implement some simple calculation. This some simple calculation can can facilitate you to manage to manage your shop flow. For example, you want to identify the the usage of your equipment. Yeah, we we all know if the usage is low, you yeah you you, you spend money. You spend money because the usage is quite low. You, know, you, you want to increase is the, the usage or utilization. And then just a simple calculation, you can calculate the overall equipment effectiveness. And uh, such kind of index can send it to your, your cell phone in your laptop or the, the compound or the, the TV. Okay, so for all, all can see the, the index. So this is an uh, example, some, some function, func functional example of the smart machine box. This one, uh, similar to smart machine box, not, not only for you to connect all the equipment, okay, but uh, the pre prerequisite, okay, the preliminary requirement is that you use commercial, commercial control. Okay, if your equipment uh, have no controller. Manually operator, uh, I don't know how to collect the data. So control, you use the, you, once you have the controller, I can collect the data. Okay, yes. So, and uh, this one, not, not only collect data, but also can compensate, compensate the machine error. They can compensate. Yeah, because you have your data in hand. Okay, we can calculate and uh, compensate the error in the machine. Yeah, so this is just uh, an idea for you to, uh, how about the first step to industrial 4.0? Maybe some, uh, some box, but, but such kind of smart machine box, smart machine box, uh, not only in Taiwan, in other countries, they all have a similar, similar product, uh, all, all for you can, can choose. Okay. This slide uh, also for you to 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 consider. Yeah, for example, the first step, the first step for you to introduce industrial four point zero. Maybe you already identify your bottleneck, but uh, the commercial controller do not collect data, and uh, and uh, you cannot require the company to to upgrade. To, to, to remodel the controller for you, it, it's not feasible. So the most faster way for you is to embed. You can choose commercial, commercial sensor, and, and then install, install 
in, in, your, in your short flow. Of course, you need domain know-how to install. But of course, I suggest uh, co-opted with the sensor integrator. Because uh, how to integrate the sensor, we have know-how. Yeah, the, the know-how will be very important. Or the, the, the data you collect will, will accompany many, many nodes. And the, the noise will, yeah, will, will make you very difficult yeah, to, to judge your data. Okay, so. Okay. The next section is mechatronics. Mechatronics is not only to integrate mechanical, but also electrical, even the, the optical. Optical, mechanical, and the electrical. Integrated uh, for the ma machine layer. And then this one also for you to consider if we, or to install sensor are uh, difficult. Controller um, upgrade difficult. Okay. But you still need to collect more data. You can consider LOI. LOI is automated, automated optical inspection. But oh, but it's, it's quite simple. Its structure is a CCD camera. You just use a CCD camera and a simple XY table. You can measure, measure your object in line. You, you, do, you do not have to wait and the product finished and then move out to the production line and, and the measure. You, you, just, you can in line, you can embed this LOI equipment in line to, to, make, to measure your, your object. Even object in process. Okay. I I want to use one one video for you to. Okay. For this one, you have to coordinate coordinate the the X Y table and the C C D camera. Uh, before you start L I inspection. You set up the, the parameter, for example, how the size, the, the area, the resolution, okay? And then you, you, you send your parameter. The XY table will follow, will follow your, your command, okay? They will move, will move to an a, a initial position for CCD camera to take picture and then to inspect your object. And then when, when they finish, finish the, the, the inspection, and then the XY table will go to the next station. But before they finish their inspection, the image you captured may be not a very good condition. So you have to conduct image pre-processing. And then for you to easy to, uh, the image processing, for example, uh, you have to remove the noise. You have to re remove the noise. The noise may be from lighting, from any kind of noise, and then you have a very beautiful, beautiful image, and then you can identify there there is a defect or not. Oh, if there is a defect, you can mark the defect, okay, and uh, you can cl classify the defect, defect, and then okay, you finish the the the, the, the inspection. If you want to go to a, another place, okay, you save the image and uh, uh, give the command to X Y table to move to, to the ne next stage. Okay, the next slide is that. So, not only inspection, you integrate you, the, the inspection with your process. For example, in this example, your process is just, uh, you just uh, give two, two dot, two dot here. It is a process. But the two dot is an open loop control. Open loop. And you already know the position, okay? You already know the, the amount, the quantity. And uh, you already know the parameter, but uh, how about the qu quality? You don't know. So it's, it is one of the inline inline inspection. You use the LOI. Very easy for you to integrate into your production line. Yeah, yeah. So this is just uh, one example. A another example is that. So this is a uh, robot robot application, but uh, this kind of robot application. The LI, LI uh, automatic uh, optical inspection is very important. So in this application, this is an OLED panel. 
the, the only panel can, can let, for let lighting. But, but if the panel fail or the connection fail, mm, can, can, cannot light. Okay, so, and then you must, uh, you must uh, confirm the panel is in a good condition. So, you have to send, send the driving signal into the panel to drive, to drive the panel. But uh, the, the issue will be that, okay, so when you, mm, may, when you want to give driving signal into the panel, are you sure your panel is in a co correct position? If, if the position is wrong, your probe, your probe will not touch, will not touch the, the, the electrode, and then you cannot send your signal. So, uh, maybe I have to go a little back. Your PCB, but, but you know, your PCB, you have look, your PCB spacer, PCB spacer. So, if you want to upload, and then the, the right hand side is to, to unload. If you, you, you use Roba, Roba, one, one, one Roba, two Roba, the cost will be very high. So, that's why we have to identify customer's need. Once we understand your need, we can, we can design a very simple, a very simple equipment for you. We, we do not have to use Roba. You, you see? Can, can, can we see from, 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 from this video? One spacer, one PCB, one spacer, one PCB. Only use very simple mechanism, very simple mechanism. So from, from this video, you know that we, we have to deal with the mechan mechanical interface. Or you, you have the collision, the, your equipment or your, or your, your object, your workpiece. Okay, you, or maybe your robot will, will damage you. Okay. So the, the, the mechanical interface, you see? We, we have to control the, the pin to make sure in, in, in the right place. And why they have to upside down, upside down? Because we have to turn, turn, turn the panel. We have to turn the panel. In, in, in this application, we, we do not use Roba. Ah, because Roba is very expensive. So we, we use a, a simple but a reliable. And uh, you know our substrate is is glass. Glass is quite 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 easy to break. So transfer and uh, to and uh, you, you can see from this. This is a ca cassette. In, in, inside one cassette, you can insert many 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 glass. But uh, you must insert very accurately, or your glass will hit hit the cassette and crash crash. Yeah. So. So in, in this case, the mechanical interface and the, the data interface should be integrated very well so that you can insert your workpiece or you can, you can pick up your workpiece very accurately. Okay, so this is a, another idea. This case is also tape, the panel, the solar panel. Solar panel need the tape uh, along the, the, the edge edge of, of, of the solar panel. But in this, in this case, you can observe that your panel is, is not flat. This is a curved panel. And your, your equipment have to, follow, have to follow this curve if you use open loop control. Open loop, but maybe some, some, something wrong. Okay, you will damage your, 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 your curve. Subject. Because this curve subject, also glass, you will de de damage this glass. So, so our approach is, is that open loop control, yes, because reliable and uh, cheap. And then we use an, an appliance, 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 and yeah, and the effect appliance, so that they can they can follow the contour, they follow the contour. Okay, this is another case because. The, we have to attach an electrode tape, an electrode tape, conductive tape upon our, our, our workpiece. Okay. But uh, how do you attach? In this case, we use ultrasonic bonding. We use ultrasonic to attach, to attach this, this conductive, conductive tape upon our, our workpiece. 
No. So in this case, we design this ultrasonic head so that the bonding condition will be very good. Okay. Okay, so the, the above were several videos just for you to have an idea. In our company, hmm, maybe I can introduce some, 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 some me mechatronics device or module or component. Okay, so to facilitate, facilitate our process flow, okay, and then can increase our productivity. And then at the same time, can collect the data for me, for you to analyze. Okay, so, but uh, uh, as I mentioned, also we have the smart machine box. But if you have no commercial controller inside your equipment, how can I collect data? Uh, uh, we know, we, own, we almost know all the, all the communication protocol of controller, but we have no controller. So how can, how can you cope with this issue? In, in, this, in this kind of issue, there, there is no way you have to de design, you have to develop your data acquisition system by yourself or by your partner. You, you, you do not have to do everything by yourself. You can cooperate with your, your partner. They can develop this data acquisition system for you. Okay, so, okay, of course, uh, depend on what kind of data you want. What kind of data you want. Because I, I believe you already know your bottleneck. You already know your pain. You want to cope with them. So, and uh, to cope with them, you have some idea about what kind of data you, you need, you want. And then you, you use this data. But uh, this kind of data, the signal is an analog signal. And usually, very, very slow, very, very slow, and uh, have lots of noise here, lots of noise here. And uh, how to conditionally, not only to smooth, to remove the, the, the noise, for example, by a filter, okay? You, you know, the noise always, noise always high frequency, okay? So if you use a low-pass filter, okay? Low-pass filter is that, okay? The high currency, high currency, high frequency signal will be cut by your by your filter. So it's, it's quite quite mature, quite mature. You can do it by yourself or cooperate with your partner. Okay. So and then we can clean the noise, but the, the signal is very very small. So you have to amplify amplify your signal. But remember, when you amplify your signal at the same time, you enlarge your noise. So maybe you have to remove noise first and then amplify. So this is some kind of digital signal processing. And then you digitize your signal and then save to your, to your computer. So this is a, a general process is here. This is our, um, one of, of my partner in Taiwan because his customer has no controller. So he, he has to develop a data acquisition system for them, for them to collect the data. But such kind of digital data acquisition, the technology is quite mature. But the, the know-how is you have, to, you have to understand your application, your process, and then you will know all oh, our noise come from where, from where, from where. And uh, uh, if you buy, buy an electrical approach to remove the signal, the cost, cost high, high cost. Okay, you, you increase the cost. But uh, by the design, by design, how you install your, your, your sensor, and then your signal naturally very beautiful, okay, and then mm, very cost effective with the data acquisition system. You can, you can collect very beautiful data, okay. And, and uh, once you, you have your data, and then you can storage and uh, uh, transfer to cloud for analyze and uh, extract the value. 
Okay, this is uh, uh, just uh, one example. How uh, I, I just mentioned the smart machine box, but how to apply the smart machine box? This is uh, one example for CNC. Okay, for example, inside your company, you have many many CNC uh, the machine tool, but uh, different machine tool have a different purpose. Uh, for example, this uh, yeah, wait a moment. Okay, this machine tool the, is a time critical mission. For time critical mission, you have to feedback. Okay, okay. you see data acquisition period. Ah, oh, DAP. Okay, your data acquisition period will be very very long. You have to collect your data very very, very fast because this this machine tool for time time critical. But for other machine tool, maybe not so critical. Two seconds, maybe enough, maybe enough. Okay, so this is the, the, the smart machine box, they, they collect data, okay. For, for this, uh, you, you, maybe this, this, this machine tool is very old, old and no controller, you, you have no choice. You design your I.O. card to, to collect your data. Or we, if you have a, a, a good controller, we can collect the data. Okay, from okay, the, the controller from Fanaku, from Mitsubishi, uh, from Japan, and uh, from from Germany, uh, Siemens or Head Head. Okay, we can we all know the, the protocol, so we can collect the, the data here, and uh, and uh, we can implement some some function inside inside the smart machine box. But you will ask me one question. No, it's the cloud. It's the cloud error. Everything cloud. Everything on cloud. Storage analyzed. But but if you transfer every data, raw data to cloud, you will occupy the bandwidth. You occupy the bandwidth. So for example, uh, this machine tool time critical. But the other three machine tool occupies the, the bandwidth. You will you will influence. Influence my performance. Yeah, so that's why we will process, we will process some, some data and extract some information and then transfer the, the essential, the important, the processed data into cloud and the size will small. And we only occupy a small portion of bandwidth. Okay, we, and we will not influence the time to critical CNC. Okay, so uh, for for this case, you can you can also also conduct very many many uh, functions here. For example, you can monitor the equipment utilization. Okay, utilization. Okay, or you can monitor the the due date. Okay, or how many times the equipment can finish. This work, okay. All this, all this, you can analyze on on this smart machine box, and uh, you just need a, a a small, a very cheap microcontroller or or processor. You can you can complete this calculation, and then you send this condensed data into cloud, okay. And uh, and the cloud will collect the data to extract high level high level intelligence. In smart machine box, only low level intelligence. Okay, so it is just an uh, example for CNC for machine tool industry. Okay, now the machine tool user user industry they buy machine tool to use. Okay, so okay, so if you want to uh, implement a more high level function, we have the IoT platform. We have the IoT platform here for you to collect uh, integrated data. Data here, but but for data, not only to the mobile device, mobile device for 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 CEO, for C level, for C level CEO, for your boss to see, but for the production board, for the signage, for the TV in the in the production line, because uh, in in our in my next presentation, I will share with you some some use case, and in the, this use case. They just some use case, just monitor, monitor the data, and then their productivity increase. Why? 
because they not only monitor, they, they show, they show the data through some some graphical user interface, some some table, some graphical, and all the all the employees, all the workers in Shanghai, they can see, and then they, they will compare. Oh, my team leg, or the other team surpass us. Okay, so and then they will automatically improve their productivity. So this is also a very simple way. Collect the data and tra transfer the data into a very useful index index and in GUI, in graphical user interface, to show on the shelf for, for all the workers to see. And uh, they, will, they will encourage, they will push their sales to, yeah, to increase their productivity. OK. And then uh, now, so, so that's why. The IT for Industrial 4.0 is very important because for, for, for human to collect data, oh, my, my boss will monitor us. Okay, so they will modify the data. They will make the data very beautiful. So the data is the, the data not, not reliable. So that's why the IT technology will be very important. So uh, uh, now we have. Uh, uh, another two slides for different industry, for industrial machinery, for robot. So the architecture, architecture all the same. Okay, you all, you also use smart machine bugs. Okay, you also use this IoT platform. Okay, so, but uh, the function inside the smart machine bugs different, quite different. Depend on depend on your application. So I just uh, uh, list. Uh, okay, share this. Uh, Two slides for your reference, and I, I list the, the, the function. Okay, the, the function we already conduct in Taiwan. So if you want to implement it in India, I believe no, no problem because we already proved. Okay, because the the, the word is the very small, very not very easy to read. So I summarize. Okay, so many functions we, we can implement inside the smart machine box. Okay, not only collect and the transfer, but the, also, calculate the inside, and uh, and uh, we can figure out some some figure. Okay, they are they, uh, the most important eight in the case right here. Okay, so for you to okay to reference. Okay, of course, of course, because you want to connect all your equipment. So the set up the the system should be very easy for you to set up. Or your engineer. Okay, the First month, first quarter, introduce the system, and the second quarter they will quit because too ah, too hard to manage, to upgrade. They, they, they will quit. Ah, this is not good. Oh, too expensive. They will quit. Yeah. So you, uh, uh, as a solution provider, we have to design the user interface very friendly for you to set up, and then uh, to acquisition and storage. Oh, this, this is very important. The productivity and the cost of your factory, this, this will be quite crucial. You just uh, one use case. They just uh, watch, watch the utilization ratio of their equipment. They increase their productivity. Okay, and okay, you you can also measure uh, your co completion. Complete how how many how many jobs can completed? Okay, e equipment operation status, or this one is also also uh, important. But uh, the technology the technology uh, intensity a, a little high because you can predict not only uh, for example one month to maintain one month to maintain yeah, but uh, Maybe uh, the, now the, the in very good condition. Maybe you can three months to maintain. Okay, or wow, heavy duty, heavy duty. Maybe half a month you have to maintain. But uh, so you have to analyze your data, and uh, you you can predict the suitable period period to maintain your equipment. And uh, if something wrong, you can proactively alarm, alarm. Okay, so the, the job and the okay the communication. Must be compatible. So these are the eight most important features of your smart machine box. So 
So for you, if you want to choose a partner or vendor in India or in, in other countries in Taiwan, okay, that's just for you to reference. Okay, so this one is the, for the IoT for the IoT platform. Uh, the the data is on. Uh, yes, yes. In Taiwan, at least, Okay, so the, um, except this one for active for the alarm, except this one, all other something the 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 question the the question 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 okay the only this one this one you need some know how okay you need to understand more everything and then you can Especially this one. If you want other other function, uh, maybe suggested by your customer, okay, we also have to customize for you. Yeah, but for all other standard standard function. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So um, for for okay. Yeah, but you still have to in in uh, sorry. Uh, for you to extract higher intelligence, okay, higher intelligence, so uh, more value. So only smart machine box, because you, you have to consider the cost-effective issue. Consider cost-effective issue. The smart machine box cannot be very powerful or 
very expensive. And because you need one small machine box for one equipment, so you have to control the cost. So for higher intelligence, higher value, we go to the IoT, IoT platform. Go to IoT platform. Yeah, so uh, this is ju just uh, for, uh, to review, review the structure. You collect data in the ma machine layer, and in, you integrate the data, and you can calculate some, some index, okay, some, some information okay, in, 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 this, in this layer, in this connection layer. And then you go to the higher layer, higher layer, okay, for, for higher intelligence. So it's just a, a, a review, okay. And uh, so, for this slide, this slide, ju just mention that uh, for this IoT platform, we have many, many choice, ma ma many, many choice, okay, so. And uh, this one, MQTT, HTTP, just uh, a communication, uh, communication protocol. For you to choose, but maybe you you do, you do not have to choose. You you, the only thing you have to do is to propose your your need, your requirement, and your system integrator should they will choose suitable communication protocol for for you. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is a a more a more uh, okay. So, the here, okay, in in here. Okay, um, up to this uh, NIP, okay, communication protocol. This this protocol for is for you to develop a web uh, web application, okay, uh, i.e. explorer, okay, web. This protocol just for you to share to share message, share information. But inside this inside this national national IoT pass national IoT pass is platform as a service. Uh, platform as a service, the platform not just for data, not, not just for data, okay? You can see that. You have this uh, communication protocol to web, to web. But, but inside this, there are so many things you can do upon this IoT pass, IoT pass. Yeah, yeah for, for, for example, uh, for, for this machine learning, uh, statistical analysis, okay. No matter deep learning or deep learning is uh, advanced machine learning, okay, okay, or, or only statistical analysis. The, the first pre requirement is you have to clean clean your data. So the, the data science or oh, very advanced or oh, high salary, but uh, you know, they, they spend much of time to clean the data. Because the data is, is so noisy. So, so they have to clean their data. And in some cases, there are some important data, lack, lack, lack of important data. They have to find out something to compensate the data. For example, by uh, actual population, okay, by some, by some mathematical approach to compensate to complete your your lack of data, and then they can do the machine learning or statistical analysis. Okay, so so and uh, upon this uh, this national IoT pass, okay, the pass the pass they have to provide hardware platform, okay, for data in in, in data storage, okay, and, uh, but also they have to provide software. Software infrastructure for, for engineer. For example, you are software software engineer. Like they use the library, okay, some function, some library inside this this past platform, and they can very easy to develop their application. They do not have to reinvent machine learning algorithm. No, machine learning algorithm already mature. Just adapt. Just choose. A suitable one and use. For example, for image recognition, okay? Or oh, this is Apple image recognition or speech recognition from Taiwan to India, from India to Taiwan, okay? Hey, you, all, you, you all have Taiwan and India. You, you all have front and two, but different. You, 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 you need to know, you need to apply 
different algorithm. Different algorithm. So, so that's why the, the, the IoT pass will be very important. For example, without this, uh, hmm? <laughs> maybe you, 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 do, you do not see this TV. And the front and the second TV will be okay. So, because this IoT pass, uh, platform as a service, they already provide many, many essential things. So, for engineer, you do not have to do everything for you. Especially for SME. Taiwan has many, many SME. For SME, if they, they have to hire software engineer with high salary to do everything, oh, their, their throughput will be very low. Because all reinvent already available on market. Why you, you use high salary to recruit software engineer and, and do and reinvent? Mm, no, no value. So for, so for the mature function, the, the IoT platform should do everything for you. And the only thing you have to do, you, you, you hire, you, hire, you, you give, give them high salary, the software engineer, they only to, according to your need, they analyze the data to fit your need. So they are loading will be re much, much reduced, and their throughput will be very high. Because all these functions will be supported by this national uh, or, or pu public IoT platform. OK, so this is the main idea. So that's why in Taiwan, we think, oh, this is very, very important. The IoT platform, not only for quick connection, but for very quick to deploy your application. Your application. So, uh, the last slide is, uh, is just, just one flow. Okay, this is PADC. PADC in, in automation era, PAD already have a PADC. In industrial 3.0 already have a PADC. But uh, maybe in, in your country, you also have a PADC. You already have. So, my suggestion, my suggestion is that upon your existed you can see the module, you can see the procedure. You add some element of industrial 4.0 okay, to upgrade, very focused, targeted to productivity, targeted to cost, targeted to your customer need, very focused, very focused to upgrade. Okay, so, and the, the, time, the time issue will be not, not, not a problem. And you can follow the same, the same. For example, the customer will, will give you an order, okay? And then in plan section, you will plan your product and uh, how to produce your product, okay? And then you, you, you fabricate, you manufacture your product. And so you will give the, the order to, to shop floor, but you have to monitor your machine, okay? And then you have to check, you have to check. So in, and the, the, the quality is good or not, check here. Not, not only check your product, but also check equipment and your material. Oh, equipment very good, product very good, but material not enough. Oh, terrible. You, so the due date, the due date is very, very key. In Taiwan, Taiwan, uh, many, many engineers, they, they retire uh, around 50, around 50 years old, they retired because they learned lots of money. Taiwan and they retired. But at the same time, they have some heart disease, maybe brain disease, some, okay, something inside your brain, they, they retire. Because wow, the pressure, very, very hard, very, very hard. So very, very long <laughs> working period. Because due date, the due date, very important. If, if I, I miss the due date, our customer will not trust me again. So, the action, the all for the due date, all for the due. So, uh, we have to check all, all the things and then take action to upgrade. Okay, so this process, I believe all your, all your company, all have like this PITC, but uh, try to find out, I want to improve which P, plan, or do, or check. Okay, and then introduce industrial 4.0 solutions to improve your productivity and reduce your cost. Okay, thank you very much.
Okay. 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 Let's make